William Bennett is an amazing music educator. If I didn't have such a high caliber teacher, I don't know where I would be right now. He's just amazing. He's a great person and he's built this program from its inception in 2008 when we opened. And I'm not the only one. I know there's like 12 or 13 of us out there that are all doing teaching right now because he's inspired us. You know a genuine person when you see one. When he says that he cares about our kids and their well-being, they know that he means that. If I had one word to describe Cane Bay, it would be family. We want the audience to remember what it felt like to fall in love. My name is William Bennett. I'm the director of choirs at Cane Bay High School. I call Cane Bay my third child. <laughs> it's an E-flat. Like family, we don't always like each other, but we always love each other, right? And we are there for one another. A lot of coaches say it's really easy to go from bad to good because everyone kind of looks around and says, oh, we're really bad, we need to get better, we need to work hard, and everybody kind of pulls the same direction. It's much more difficult to go from good to great, and it's even more difficult to stay there once you're there because you have to continue doing the things that got you there. You have to continue to commit yourself into um, put in the, the work and effort that it takes to stay there. And that's where I learned that it is all fun and games, but you also have to work hard. Um, and William Bennett is going to make you work hard, <laughs> especially in that upper ensemble. And that is the biggest challenge now. You know, our students come in now with an expectation of, hey, we're going to be part of something great because it's been great for so many years. They don't always understand the level of sacrifice that it takes or the work ethic that it takes. Making sure that we sound good, that we are prepared. So it's, it's very competitive within that ensemble to be the best you can be. He wasn't my first music teacher, but I would say he was probably my most influential. He builds great relationships with students. Music people are always the ones that the students go to and they're more than the teacher. They're like your therapist, your mom, your dad. He will go to bat for them. It doesn't matter what they need, whether it's something school related or not. And he was that person for me. I mean, I could be having a really crappy day and I could go to Mr. Bennett's office. When you need him, pick up the phone, He's he's got it. The impact he has on kids is unfathomable, but I'm starting to understand it <laughs> as a teacher. One of the, the proudest moments that I had was fall of uh, 2021. We got the chance to go down to Georgia Southern and one of our former students, um, Jackson Murray, uh, was studying at, at Georgia Southern and um, Georgia Southern performed and Jackson got to conduct a piece. He was one of the, the graduate conductors there. And all of a sudden I'm sitting in this room and one of my former students is leading another group of people and in song and doing just a phenomenal job. And I, I broke down in tears, just so proud of him and his work. The upbringing of William Bennett through high school really pushed me to become a teacher. What he did a good job about was exposing us to different types of repertoire, different types of music, while also being exceptionally inclusive. You know, he's doing things that represent his entire student population, um, which I think is very important. Our third graders from Cambridge Elementary, please give them a big round of applause. One of the greatest things I think he ever did was start the Vertical Concert. We had over 600 participants. It has grown so big that we had to move it into the gym. We outgrew the auditorium. It was a collaboration between Cane Bay Elementary, Cane Bay Middle, and Cane Bay High. The third graders get to hear the middle schoolers and they say, hey, I want to do that when I'm in middle school. And the middle schoolers get to hear the high schoolers and say, hey, I can't wait to do that until when I'm in high school. Which is just ingenious because you see the progression. People can turn on their television and they see a basketball game, they see a football game, they see a baseball game. Well, we want them to have that same kind of feeling of, I want to do that when I grow up. I want to do that when I get older. I want to be a part of that. Cane Bay High School is known uh, all over the country for our choir. He's just very good about getting us exposed to different audiences to build up that Cane Bay name. I mean, you say Cane Bay High School, not just the Somerville community, but the choral community. You say William Bennett's name and people know who that is. We are known for the work that we do. And every time we leave this campus, um, I tell the kids, we're representing ourselves, our school, our community. There are people who are only gonna know about what's happening here based on what we do and how we handle ourselves. And I think in that way, that's how we represent our community and give back. 